Hi, this is to a tutorial to show you how to put an aftermarket VGA cooler on your 4850 from Radeon and ATI. Now, the first car that we have here has everything from the market uh, aftermarket VGA cooler put on, except for the aftermarket VGA cooler. We have the little heat sinks for the RAM right here and right there. We also have the thermal paste already on there for the GPU unit. Now, now here's a complete version since I have the Crossfire already enabled. This is a Zaleman GV1000 Extreme Gaming VGA cooler. Now, of course, this is going to light up red when it's plugged in, of course, but of course it's not plugged in because I need to wait 24 hours in order for the, the uh, heat thermal paste to set. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to install the other one for you and show you how to do it. Now, of course, we're going to be we're going to be uh, doing the exact same thing, which is the VG, or sorry, excuse me, GV1000 from Zaleman. And pretty much the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that these four holes line up right there, right there, right there, and right there to the ones on your uh, VGA cooler right there, right there, right there, and right there. Now, I have already read the manual, and since this is the 4850, it goes into the number five slot, which is the second one from the end. Now the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to put on the VGA cooler from of course the ground onto the graphics card then we're gonna flip it over. So while we do that I will show you how he does that. Just kinda of pretty much line up the holes and then flip it over. Now make sure that you put this on an even surface afterwards and of course apply the rubber stoppers that come with the kit. These rubber stoppers help you from screwing in the back parts which are these right here too far and damaging your uh, damaging your graphics card and that would be terribly bad considering that this is a really cool uh, graphics card and a very cool cooler. Now after you have the four stoppers in what you're going to want to do is pretty much uh, of course screw in the back stoppers which are pretty much just springs and screws in a thumb screw and pretty much what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put them in one at a time but make sure to not tighten them down too tightly so that you can put the other ones on to have an equal amount of tightness on each one now as my friend does that we'll just watch him at work now I'm not sure if we should play Jeopardy to this or not so uh, <laughs> But anyway, <laughs> let's look at the completed version of this, shall we? Now, this is the completed version right here. And of course, I'm going to try and not put it on the carpet since it is the finished version and I don't want it to get any statically charged. But of course, as you can see, it's semi-big but not as big as some of those normal coolers that are not actually aftermarket. This is it from a side view. Of course, it's going to be a lot larger than only a single bay from now on but hey I'd take coolness over uh, over skinniness any day of the week so my friends almost done with that screwing those things on now we're gonna show you how to pretty much install them onto your computer now of course all you got to do is plug them into the normal CPU slots along with these four pinned fan things right here I'm sorry, excuse me, three. And those can be found pretty much either at the top or the bottom of your PCI Express slot. So after you get these things installed, you can have fun. Of course, after 24 hours to allow them to bond correctly. And have fun. Talk to you later.